Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be drawing the tangency problem right on the screen. So first of all, we are going to draw our horizontal line, our straight horizontal line in this manner. Now we are going to be picking our set square to draw a vertical line, which is going to be a thin, long chain line, like this. So now, from this point to this point, as you can see, we have length 40 mm. So I'm going to be picking 40 mm on my ruler like this then 40 millimeter now i'm going to draw a straight line which is a vertical line too from that particular point 18 long chain line this now from this point we have another line here which is 44 millimeter from this line so i'm going to be drawing that also i'm going to pick 44 44 millimeter like this then i'm going to draw 18 long chain line also in this manner from that particular point so now as you can see upward we have a line here which is 37 millimeter from this particular bottom line which we have drawn so i'm going to pick 37 millimeter on my on my ruler then mark this point up here then draw then draw a straight line like this so now as we can see in this particular place we have a circle here which is of diameter 40 millimeter that is radius of 20 millimeter so i'm going to pick radius of 20 millimeter on my on my ruler then i'll place it at this particular point here and draw my circle like this like this in this manner now we can have we can see that there is an outer circle there which is of radius of 32 millimeter so i'm going to pick radius of 32 millimeter then i'll place my my compass at this point also and strike an arc like this like this so now as we can see up here there's also a circle here which is of diameter of 22 that is radius of 11 millimeter I'm going to pick 11 mm. Placing my compass at this particular center here, I'm going to be drawing a circle like this. Now, as you can see, above that circle of 22 mm diameter, we have a radius of 22 mm also above it. So I'm going to be picking 22 mm radius. Then I'll place it at this center and draw and act like this like this so now at this particular point we can see that there is a small arc here which is of radius of six millimeter so i'm going to pick radius six millimeter for on my compass then placing it at this particular point here i'm going to draw an arc radius six millimeter then i'll place it at this point also like this and draw an arc also now I'm going to be joining this particular two points together in this manner, like this. Then I'll join this together with this also, like this. So now, as you can see above this radius of six millimeter, there is another radius of eleven millimeter above it. That is a circle of eleven millimeter above it. So I'm going to pick eleven millimeter on my on my compass then i'll place my compass at this particular point and then draw an arc above each here like this so now we can see this particular place the arc joining these two places together is actually of radius of 24 millimeter so in order to draw that this particular radius here we have been given to be 22 millimeter so I'm going to pick 22 plus 24, which is 46 millimeter. I'm going to pick 46 millimeter on my compass. And I'll place it at this particular center point and then strike an arc. This particular radius here, we have been giving it to be 11 millimeter radius plus 24, which is the actual radius of this particular distance. That is going to be 35 millimeter. 
so i'm going to pick 35 millimeter on my on my compass like this then place it at the center point and then strike an arc so the points at which these two are meeting each other i'm going to be joining it together with radius of 24 millimeter so i'm going to pick radius of 24 millimeter then place it at this point then join these two together like this and join these two together like this so now we are going to proceed to this particular place you can see the radius joining these two together is actually 50 millimeter radius so i will have been given this bigger circle here to be 22 millimeter radius so 22 plus 50 22 plus 50 that's going to be 72 so i'm going to pick 72 millimeter then placing it at this particular point i'm going to strike my arc like this now we have been given this particular bigger radius to be 32 millimeter and this one also is 50 so 32 plus 50 is actually 82 so i'm going to pick 82 millimeter so with 82 millimeter i'm going to place my compass here okay so we have to extend this 72 millimeter a little bit like this so now using radius of 50 millimeter placed at this point we are going to draw an arc also using radius of 50 millimeter 50 we are going to be drawing an arc placed at this point so i'm going to join these two together like this so now we can see there is a straight line here that is actually joining these two together so we are going to be drawing that that straight line we are going to draw that together to join each other so this is actually the tangency problem now let me take in it out if you found value in this video do well to hit the like button subscribe and turn on notification to be the first to get every of our educational videos we are going to be posting and also share with your friends thanks for watching